Building a gaming PC is as difficult as it's ever been. And if you want one that can both game and stream as a single PC solution, you need something extra strong. Hey, I never asked you. Yeah. You like guacamole? Today, I'm building a PC strong enough to do both. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your stream and computer technician. In my opinion, the holy grail of streaming is being able to do everything possible via a single PC. Sure, this can cause uptime problems in case of random OBS crashes. Putting that aside, the simplicity of a single PC stream setup is hard to beat. For that, you need lots of cores, a good GPU, lots of RAM, and lots of patience. Emotional, damn it! Last summer, EVGA held a video submission contest. We've entered in one stuff in the past, including a complete custom water-cooled PC build from Jay's Two Cents. Yes! A one terabyte NVMe SSD, and now from the latest submission, a RTX 3060. This card is roughly on par with the RTX 2070, which makes it a fantastic 1080p performer. So we're throwing this GPU into this gaming and streaming build. The rest of the specs are as follows. Ryzen 7 3700X, special thanks to our CG crew loyal supporter, Paul Sonic, for the sweet deal. 32 gigabytes DDR4 3200 megahertz CL16 RAM, and ASRock B450 Pro 4 motherboard, special thanks to CG crew loyal supporter, Festizio, for that sweet deal. And special thanks to NZXT for sending out the following. A H510 flow case, a C750 bronze semi-modular power supply, and a Kraken X63 RGB AIO. I have a good reason for building this and I'll tell you why, but first let's build and benchmark this beast. All right, we're installing the CPU. As I said, this is a Ryzen 7 3700X. You need cores and threads if you're streaming. And this is eight cores, 16 threads. This motherboard was just a good deal. 50 bucks for an ASRock B450 Pro 4. Got good IO, supports the CPU, heat sinks on the VRMs, four DIMM slots. It's just a decent motherboard. We went with this because NZXT sent it along and that's what I asked for. So we're going with the 280 mil uh, NZXT X63 AIO. So that should be plenty for a 3700X. Fine, it's perfectly fine to use a thermal paste that's already on there, but I want to use MX4 and I'm going to use MX4. Special thanks to Asia Horse as well for sending over these PSU extensions and this five pack of RGB fans. But we're only gonna use two. However, I'll leave a link down in the description below because it's a pretty good value for what you get. You get five RGB fans and a little controller box for them. So it's a lot easier to wire manage because that controller box, everything just goes to that instead of having to deal with all the different RGB cables. So let's throw them in. All right, the build is complete, but there are still some finishing touches to do. Gonna be adding some RGB strips, uh, doing a little bit more wire management and adding another terabyte of storage as well. That's gonna be on a 2.5 inch SSD. So in the back wouldn't have mattered anyways. You can't see it on this side.
overall i think it came out really nice i do kind of wish that i got um, the psu extensions to match the white tubes of the nzxt cooler here but once this is all closed up and the rgb lights are shining it'll probably be a little less noticeable but this whole white and black theme with this and a little bit of frost blue in there i think is going to come out really good looking in its final form so several years ago i built a pc for my brother who on twitch goes by the name zalman so go follow the build is right here on this channel as well it was a Xeon E5 1650 Sandy Bridge 6 core 12 thread CPU with 16 gigs of RAM and a GTX 980 Ti. He used this to stream and it did reasonably well, but it left him wanting something better after a series of issues both with the PC and the internet where, you know, where he was living at the time because the internet there had lots of issues. He eventually moved on from streaming and even sold that PC. Actually, he's streaming right now. Sometime later, he wanted back in, but surprise, surprise, pandemic and gpu apocalypse he scored a gaming laptop still though which has a rtx 2060 and an i7 9750h with 32 gigs of ram i helped him get back up and running for streaming shout out to turing and Venk, and he was off to the races but he had a lot of trouble getting going again since the laptop introduced some power management related quirks that would occasionally cause issues with obs and, and some games that stuff is mostly sorted now at least However, a thermal and power limited RTX 2060 mobile probably gets beat by the 980 Ti he used to have. So when gaming and streaming, performance in games like Call of Duty Warzone would hang out around the 40 to 60 FPS range at 1080p. It's not bad, but it's not the greatest. As you can see, the performance of this system for both gaming and streaming is fantastic. I would talk about how much a system like this costs to build but we all know what's happening with the market and the uh, discounted $700 price point I'm selling it to him for isn't realistic to communicate this system's value. However, many of the parts used are attainable and affordable, so if anything in this build interested you guys, links to everything will be down in the description. My brother is going to be very happy with this system, but just dropping this off and telling him good luck isn't part of the plan. Hit that subscribe button because up next will be a stream setup makeover featuring this PC. You won't want to miss that. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a single upload. Also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific, so if you want to talk more streaming gaming tech, drop a follow and stop by. That does it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I got a lot more streaming related videos right here, especially stream hardware stuff including something that's going to be in the stream setup makeover. So click on over there to one of those videos and check that out.